Everybody, are you guys ready for the man of the hour? Make noise for Bob Keen! And finally, makes noise for your host, R.L. Julie! All right, thanks everybody. We Bye appreciate everybody. the money. That was the show. All right. Guys, I, uh, I am shocked i am absolutely floored i mean i i fucking i live with the guy and i'm shocked that anyone else likes him okay all right, all right. i did prepare i did prepare okay guys on his first day of catholic school he molested a priest because the best defense is a good offense I know, I was about to say, yeah, they're better when I tell them. Guys with goatees, guys with goatees see his haircut and thank him for his service at the Capitol. He gets in arguments with trans women on Facebook because he's a real cool guy. He believes the worst thing that Dahmer did to the black community was under-season them. <laughs> he hates the Great British Baking Show. He loves cheese, weed, and sex. He wants to adopt a highway to experience the feeling of running over his children. <laughs> he is Bob Keen. Yeah. And uh, guys, panel, I, I'm gonna need your help with this one. And he became a Bob at? Five years old. <laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, we've heard the bit. Today, but today Bob turns 40. Yeah, yeah, and we actually found out from his parents last night that he was born at 2.37 a.m., so last call. <laughs> you degenerate fuck. <laughs> so, some things don't change. Uh, you're just born that way. But they weren't checking IDs. <laughs> after 40 years of being the most Bob a Bob could ever be, including terrorizing his junior high school principal, shoplifting porn on VHS, getting in fights with his adult neighbor as a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Getting so drunk, he is peed in the corner of a lovely Abuelita's apartment. <laughs> he, he peed on the Scientology building in LA, is that? Yes, yes he did. He's, he's peed on every train line because he was homeless for a whole Chicago winter. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bob. Um, <laughs> <laughs> After moving to LA to be a bass player, <laughs> which is where he started stand up comedy instead, then getting, he got punched in the face due to comedy related incidents, not once, not twice, but three times, <laughs> two of which were in the last year. Um, we've decided to ring in his 40th birthday by roasting this man with some of his closest frenemies um, to roast him and each other because much like Hitler, Bob can only get hard when people shit on him. Fuck Bob Keen. And uh, I really want to thank each and every one of you for joining us. You guys are disgusting for being here. <laughs> I, I am your roast master this evening. My name is Ariel Julie. For those who don't know me, I am not just a Chicago com uh, uh, comedian. I'm also Bob Keen's girlfriend and his uh, booking agent. I'm, uh, I am here. <laughs> I'm his here. parole officer. <laughs> 
Am I my Bob's keeper? I don't know. I'm, I'm here because as much as I care about Bob, I also want him to suffer emotionally and mentally. And his ego is so big that I can't do it alone. <laughs> so, so here with us tonight, we have an incredible dais of comedians, which I would like to introduce to you. We've got, we've got Bob, uh, I'm sorry, Bobby Buds. That's Bob Key. We've got Maybe Bobby Buds. We've got Adam Quaslow. We've got Kaylee Horton. We've got Queenie Bitch. We've got Kevin Kellum. We've got Darius Kennedy, Brandon Kiefer, and Leah Kajanian. I also uh, I want to thank the Rose Battle Chicago team, Matt Banward and Chris Grieco, for everything that they've done producing this show. They run an amazing battle on Thursdays here at the Lincoln Lodge, so come check that out. Give those guys a round of applause. Thank you to them. Thank you, Rose Battle. Yes. And thank you to Justin, who has been running all the tech tonight. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Your poncho, incredible. All right. All right. So, guys, with all of that being said, are you ready to get this started? Yeah. All right, our first roaster of the night. We finally exhumed his body from the river. Give it up for Adam Quaslow. All right. All right, don't use all your energy, Adam. We almost had to get a lift for this. Uh, Ariel, Julie. Uh, Guys, uh, I actually saw uh, Ariel get recognized the other day by a group of homeless people as our Sarah Silverman. Uh, <laughs> and look, I know her voice is shrill and whiny, but we're Jewish, that's covenant in our community. <laughs> I don't know if there's any Latinos here, but that's sort of our version of rolled R's. Uh, <laughs> Normally for a roast, you try to put the best comedians you can, but for this, you had to be friends with Bob Keane, so... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Y'all are getting mid at best. Uh, it's, it's like you went to the legal dispensary. Uh, <laughs> oh, you dropped your Mountain Dew, dude. You missed your endorsement right there. Yeah. <laughs> Any t every time a Jew drops a Mountain Dew, an angel starts drinking again. Uh, <laughs> Mountain Dew. <laughs> uh, Bobby Buds is here, or as Kevin Kellum calls him, before. Uh, <laughs> you fucking hat. <laughs> Bob, you look like Stavros Halkius went on Celebrity Rehab. Like, also, Kevin, you look like you owe my people reparations. I'm just kidding, he doesn't have enough hair to be a skinhead. Uh, Kaylee Horton's here to scream instead of doing punchlines. Uh, uh, Queenie Bitch is here. Queenie was born uh, when a gay joke from 2003 wished it could be a real boy. <laughs> but Queenie, if you're here, who's out being every member of that boy band I don't like? Uh, <laughs> Queenie's so gay, we let him discriminate against trans people still. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, Leah Gaynor, Janian's here. She just had a baby last month, and she is already... <laughs> Back on stage neglecting her family. Uh, <laughs> and it's surprising, she does not look like she just had a baby until I tell you that she carried it in her nose. <laughs> Darius Kennedy, we miss you. Darius drove all the way here from Lansing, Michigan, or as most of Chicago knows it, Flint. Uh, that's, that's uh, but Darius, I am glad you could be here so that people can't complain about an all white lineup. Uh, that's, <laughs> I'm offended by that, too, by the way. I check all of the boxes, bitch. I, Wait, I, Harold, I, no, that Harold shirt is the second black person. That's, that's, I, I think I'm the first black person on there. 
<laughs> Kiefer, your sex playlist is dueling banjos. <laughs> Your sex playlist is Mountain Dew. <laughs> Kiefer married a Kiefer married a German woman. They, they like just because he hates Jews. They fuck through a hole in a Confederate flag. That's what he says when he comes. That's, baby, the South will rise again. That's, I'm drunk, not tonight. <laughs> uh, and then Bob Keen. He's from Chicago, but sounds like he's from Marlboro country. Uh, <laughs> Bob is so white trash, he could taste a wine and tell you what brand of toilet it was fermented in. <laughs> As Ariel mentioned, Bob used to be a bass player, uh, but he got kicked out of his band when they caught him fucking an adult. Uh, <laughs> He's got a type. He's got a type. <laughs> Bob's been uh, Bob's been with Ariel for a while, uh, so long that he's been starting to do that. Like oh, I can't be anti-Semitic. My girlfriend's the Jew. Except when he says Jew, he says it with a hard R somehow. <laughs> <laughs> How are you wearing an Adidas tracksuit right now? Like, what? <laughs> Next year, it's Slovenia. Uh, <laughs> but look, as we normally end this shit, we say something nice when it's a real roast. Uh, Bob, you have been a friend of mine since day one that I have been doing comedy, and I love you. And uh, look, we're going to take you down to the Jewish deli so that you can finally see what a use uh, what a usable liver looks like. All right. <laughs> That's my time. Thank you, everybody. Give it up for Adam. Uh, he uh, he tried. He tried. <laughs> Just can't keep the mic hard, huh? Shut up, Bob. I'm the, I'm the best you'll ever Fuck have. Bob um, Fuck Bob Keen. Fuck Bob Keen. Fuck Bob Keen. Fuck Bob Keen. All right, all right. Uh, that was really great, guys. Adam, I, I didn't realize there's a real fire inside of you. Is it the one Geppetto is using to stay warm? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Are you ready for our next roaster? Excellent, excellent. All right. Our next roaster is somebody very special to me and Bob. She's been producing shows with Bob and I for almost a year. She's cat sit for us on multiple occasions. In fact, Bob was sitting next to me the first time I ever saw her perform comedy here in Chicago. I thought she was hilarious, genuinely. And I turned to Bob and I was like, Bob, do you think she's funnier than me? And Bob was like, you're very pretty. So, everybody give it up for my favorite, Kaylee Horton. Give it up for Ariel, you guys. You know what, also give it up for Quaslo going first up here. He's amazing. He's like the Chicago comedy scene's precious. He's... <laughs> Like, every time we see you do comedy, he is always killing himself by eating more. I don't, he had a Mountain Dew. I, I, I think he's the only person in the world who actually knows how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. I, crushed it. I, this is fun. My friend Queenie is over here next to me. Queenie's great. Queenie looks like every drag queen they kicked off of Drag Race mixed into one. <laughs> she looks like if a crossdresser got mated with a giraffe. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Kevin Kellum is here tonight Hi. in the flesh. Kevin, Kevin is like every creepy uncle you think is gonna touch you, <laughs> and then I does. <laughs> I say you look nice in a swimsuit, and I leave it at that. <laughs> 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 Leave it to the Jewish girls. Talk about gold. So <laughs> <laughs> Ariel is 
has taught me a lot about the Jewish people. For instance, like, I didn't realize how like evil Hitler was, how he could kill all of those people. And then I spent like a little bit of time with Ariel and I was like, I totally get it. I get it. <laughs> we are here for Bob tonight. Can we give it up for Bob? <laughs> Birthday boy. Birthday boy. Now guys, I don't have I don't have any brothers. So meeting Bob, like he's sort of become like a brother to me. And by that I mean I wish he didn't exist either. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Bob has recently decided he wants to lose weight, which I think is great, but he decided because he discovered this incredible new piece of technology called the mirror. He, he, he did. Bob, Bob has what I, I like to call rape face. <laughs> like he looks like he would rape you, except he's too scared his girlfriend will find out. <laughs> He's, <laughs> Bob is known for, for when he's bombing to say to the audience, he says, I don't owe you anything. <laughs> Which is true, like he doesn't owe us anything, but he does owe Ariel a few thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> and Bob has quite the reputation around the scene. He, you know, I think, I think plenty of people would pay good money to beat the shit out of him. But luckily for them, Bob lets them do it for free. It's, that's it. Give it up for Kaylee Horton. Yes. You know, Kaylee, you joke about having a personality disorder, but like, how could that be possible when you don't have a personality? Um, how could that be possible? All right. Kaylee, you look like you starred in a very special episode of Hey Arnold. <laughs> about teen pregnancy. <laughs> You know, she's like last call cute, you know? <laughs> right, Bob? Actually, actually, Kaylee did ask me for help with her Halloween costume this year, and I was like, I don't think a sexy Planned Parenthood is a good idea. <laughs> Especially in blackface. What are you thinking? <laughs> all right, guys. He's, he is gifted. Okay, all right, guys. Are you ready for your next comic? Yeah. All right. Uh, like... Like Adam mentioned earlier, she just had a baby and you can hardly tell that she's a woman. Give it up <laughs> for Leo Kajanian! What's up, you guys? Hey! I'm excited to be here with this <laughs> group of losers. <laughs> this looks like a garbage pail kids reunion. <laughs> I'm sorry, that might be a dated reference, but we are celebrating the 40th birthday of Bukaki Bob. That should have been one of them, shouldn't it have? I swear. Oh, man. Ah, Kaylee Horton's here. Did anybody else think she was gonna mime her set? <laughs> what are you wearing? Oh, my God. Kaylee, you remind me of a Muppet. Partly because of the way you move your head when you talk, but mostly because I could tell you really come to life with some ugly dude's fist in your ass. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have never been more sure that I've had the most hospitable uterus in a room. I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel like the queenie bitch would get a uterus just to abort a baby for funsies, you know? <laughs> Talk about the men on this <laughs> this panel. What a bunch of pussies, I swear. <laughs> if I had to fuck somebody here, it would be Ariel with the strap on I know she has in her car. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't know if she has a car. <laughs> if anybody should be taking offense to anything, it is actually Ariel, because is this a roast of Bob or an indictment of your life choices? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> I don't know much about the sexual chemistry between Bob and Ariel, but I do know that Ariel doesn't drink, so at least one of them can get it up. 
Uh, Brandon is here. I'm sorry, how do you pronounce your last name? Is it Kiefer or Queefer? <laughs> you look like a really vain caveman. <laughs> Answer me. Uh, Darius Kennedy is here. We actually never met until tonight, but I am familiar with the wor your work as uh, the least relevant Kennedy of all time. He's right at the bottom of the list underneath Kennedy, the VJ from the 90s MTV. If you're thinking that's a deep cut, Darius is much, much deeper. The Queenie Bitch is here, guys. That's quite a name. Was Cunty McBadge taken already? <laughs> I honestly can't tell if you're like gender progress or like a thousand steps backwards. I, don't, I honestly don't know. Oh, God. Kevin Kellum is here, guys, with the desperate energy of a golden retriever who's going through a divorce. Looking like the celebrity guest judge of a trailer park beauty pageant. <laughs> Kevin's the type of dude who uh, calls himself an athlete after he wins a hot wing contest. <laughs> dude, why do I feel like you bowled away your life savings? I don't, I don't know. talk today about how I'm a mom. I am a mom. I love my children. I learn a lot from them. Like my kid, my daughter is obsessed with sea creatures. I was reading her book earlier. Did you guys know that there is a dolphin called a melon-headed whale? <laughs> Did you guys know they named a species of dolphin after Adam Quaslow? <laughs> I'm proud of it. <laughs> Adam actually doesn't want to have kids because he doesn't want to pass on his heart condition. <laughs> I'd be more worried about passing on that face or body <laughs> if it were me. It's a B-side for you. Uh, Adam actually had a Simpsons bar mitzvah. It was Simpsons themed. Oh, that pivotal day in a young boy's life when he goes from Bart Simpson to comic book guy. Though, Adam, I wish I knew you back then. I wish I could have been there. I would have pulled you to the side and I would have been like, don't be a cow man. <laughs> Should have ended on the last one. And then of course, the man of the hour, Bob Keen, everybody. I actually bet, met Bob over 10 years ago, right? In LA. Uh, so long before most of you knew him, I had already forgotten him. <laughs> Bob and I both left LA. I think we both gained from the experience, right? Like I got, you know, a TV credit and a family, and Bob got a rejection letter from the porn industry. So, <laughs> Bob, you look like you breastfed until you could hold a beer bottle. <laughs> Bob actually has the, what I think is the key ingredient of a male comedian a much more talented and attractive older brother. <laughs> I don't know if Bob's carpet matches his drapes, but his teeth sure do, huh? <laughs> so stupid, I don't know why I think. <laughs> Bob hit a Nazi once with a baseball bat. Okay. Yeah, right? It was the most athletic and least racist thing he's ever done. <laughs> Bob dropped out of community college on the day the terrorists flew into the Twin Towers. It's true. I guess you could say that 9-11 was Bob's 9-11. <laughs> 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 
Bob recently told me that he's been cutting back. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Is this the Wicked Witch of the West here? I'm the Wicked Witch of the East. Um, Bob told me he recently cut back on cocaine, guys. <laughs> so I guess sweaty mansplaining is just his actual personality. <laughs> In all seriousness, I moved here like a year ago and everyone in the city seems to think Bob is the hugest piece of shit. <laughs> but honestly, you've been nothing but friendly and kind to me since I've been here. I showed up pregnant and you acted like nothing. Uh, I'll always love you for that. <sighs> Happy 40, dude. Here's to 40 more. Thanks, guys. Oh, oh, get, yep, yeah, get, get Bob, get the man a drink. And give it up for Leah K. Janian. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Yep. Give it up for Leah, aka my favorite Avenger, Hawk Nose. All right, okay. All right, all right, guys. Uh, this, this next comedian, this next comedian. Um, you know the phrase, if walls could talk. This comedian is like, if tube socks could yell, you know? And they, they'd say stuff like, my mom loves my other siblings more than me. <laughs> and they'd say stuff like, beer cozy. <laughs> and also, I'm sticky. <laughs> Give it up for Kevin Kelly. I'd like to give it up for myself for dressing like someone who fucking tried tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Bob, for dressing like the divorced dad you'd aspire to be. <laughs> All right, I'll get into the documents here. We're doing pretty good. Give it up for Chris and Matt running the show, everybody else running the show. Doing really great. Darius Kennedy crossed state lines to be here, so uh, he's already you know, breaking his warrant currently, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Darius also uh, dressing like the job he's gonna lose at Foot Locker. So that's really good. <laughs> Darius, it's not fair. You, the, the, listen, you're wearing a Harold's Chicken Shack t-shirt right now, okay? That is the most connection you have to Chicago. <laughs> great, great. You're gonna be a big deal in Lansing. That's, that's wonderful. When the factory closes, you really pack them in. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Fucking yeah. Darius, uh, Darius dark. Has, Go ahead. Go ahead. That's you, nice. You, you narc. Dar Darius, has, uh, Darius has an incredible bit about uh, Van Halen and David Lee Roth doing cocaine. But here's the thing. I, I, I mean, he's really ripping on David Lee Roth. But David Lee Roth did something that Darius hasn't done ever. Entertain an audience. Yo, Darius, you going to let your valet talk to you like that? <laughs> Go, go get my Camry stacked. <laughs> Fuck you. You wish you could own a Camry. You, you wish you could have been... You live next to a factory where they used to build cars, okay? <laughs> you aspire to be the janitor in an abandoned factory. Callum's just mad because he lost his audition as the Notre Dame mascot. <laughs> and had to put a suit on, and now he looks like a fucking used car salesman who tried out I'm to be the hey, Notre Dame look, Darius, mascot. Darius, I'm a used car salesman. I'm gonna sell you where your parents are gonna live in a couple of years. Are you selling, are you selling My cars? My dad's dead. Are you selling cars at a, at a suburban prom? We call it bobbing. <laughs> Give it up for Kaylee Horton. Give it up for Kaylee Horton. A wonderful comedian, a wonderful comedian. You're going to be Googling her in the future. Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong, Kay Kaylee. I'm sorry. Uh, you have fucking googly eyes. <laughs> Kaylee's... 
Kaylee's parents unfortunately recently divorced. It's very, very sad. Very, very sad. Very sad. Very sad. Yeah. And as I know, I don't know if we have any uh, children of divorced marriages in here. You always want to tell the children it's not their fault. But uh, Kaylee's an adult and she needs to hear this. It's your fucking fault. Kaylee. <laughs> Your parents sat in the shadows in this fucking room when there was five people here. They saw your act and they said, you know what, we're done. Okay. All right. Adam Quazzo is with us, all right? He, he is with us. He's currently with us. Adam, you got a blink? Check your blood sugar, buddy, okay? I want you to be able to walk off the stage with both your feet. It's shocking that Bob and Adam are both alive, right? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, Adam Quaslow is like the city he's from, Detroit. He should be dead. <laughs> Adam, the owners of Mountain Dew would like to thank you for putting their kids through college. <laughs> you degenerate fucking idiot. Adam breathes like a pug dog. But uh, Pug Dog does something you don't do, walk. <laughs> Adam was a theater kid, did you hear that? He's a theater kid, let me, let me be clear. He was a theater tech kid. They're not putting that on stage, okay? He's just there for awkward, sweaty, handed back rubs in the back. That's right, I know where the kid's good. <laughs> There we go. That's the closest you're gonna get to first base because you can't run there. Um, <laughs> go Tigers, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Brandon Keeper is with us. Give it up for Brandon Keeper. Keep it going, keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> He spells racist with a lot more S's in it, you slurring bitch. Jeez, for a locksmith, why don't you lock some of that spit in your fucking mouth? If you're gonna spit on me that fucking much when we talk, you better be paying me. You confederate fucking gremlin. If you're a locksmith, how come you can't lock down a long-term job? We already know you went to trade school. We don't have to fucking, you know, we can tell. We can smell it on you, all right? You have dirty fingernails, but I don't know what you do. You know what I mean? He worked for Paula Dean. He worked for Paula Dean, a well-known TV food show host, also known racist, or as he calls it, Southern cooking. Queenie the bitch is with us. Or just Queenie a bitch. Just a bitch. You went with that as your stage name? Why would you, why would you make your stage name someone that just makes me feel like I'm gonna have an unfortunate conversation with? I don't know the pronouns and I don't wanna fucking know them, all right? There we go. And no, 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 because it's fine, it's fine. that's my kink, you dumb fuck. Mm. I, I'm not here to get you off, buddy, okay? Know your demographic, all right? Listen, I don't want to listen to that thing you call your music, all right? If I wanted to listen to Cats Have Sex, I could Google it. <laughs> Queenie, as far as your music goes, I want to use an old, outdated military recruitment process to, to talk about that. Um, don't ask me if I heard it, and don't tell me that I need to hear it. Look, Kevin, I'm sorry that I'm the only one in this entire lineup that has fucking talent. You don't have talent. You have height with taller shoes. <laughs> you better work, bitch. You better work. Work on your fucking bits, all right? Putting on foundation isn't building up the minutes on stage, okay? I need a feature, not a creature, okay? The only headlining you've been doing is at fucking Roscoe's in the bathroom, buddy, all right? That's not funny 
biggest hate crime I've ever seen. It's a love crime. It's a love crime. A lot of people. Oh, we're getting there. A lot of people wonder what Queenie's pronouns are. No, no, I'm not, I'm not there yet. But Queenie is a 10 minute bit in her act. Her, uh, her act about Pokemon. So clearly a little boy is inside there, but you have the body of a WNBA power forward. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A power bottom. Free Britney Griner. There we go. Uh, Leah is with us. She failed out of Los Angeles to be here. That's really great. Uh, she uh, comes to us from a very superficial place where everyone has plastic faces. You needed one of those. You needed one of those. There we go. There we go. In the valley. In the valley. You turn upwards and you block the fucking sun. Thank you. All right, there we go, there we go. Am I missing anyone? No, I'm not, Bobby, I didn't know you were gonna be here. And here's the thing, Bobby, none of us know you're gonna be here. You know what I mean? It's none of us, that's all right. Bobby's gonna stay here and sleep in the bathroom. It keeps him warm. It's a good bathroom. It's a good bathroom. It's one of, it's one of the top 10 bathrooms in fucking town. I get bumped on the list at that bathroom. I shit first here, all right? Bob and Ariel. Bob and Ariel. What a fucking odd couple, all right? Honestly, uh, Bob, I've said this before to you, and I mean this sincerely. Bob, Ariel is the best thing that's ever fucking happened to you. Ariel, Ariel, he is the worst fucking thing that's ever happened to you. This, watching you date him is like watching the end of Thelma and Louise. Just turn the fucking car around. Ariel, I, I, know, I know you're of the Jewish faith. I'm of the Catholic faith. We have saints in our faith, and you are a saint. Did you know you're named after a saint? Did you know that, Ariel? You're named after Saint Ariel. She's the patron saint of lost causes. <laughs> I pray for you every day, all right? <laughs> Finally, we reach to the, uh, the eternal shithead right here, okay? Uh, the mascot of Malort. The skin tag of Chicago comedy. <laughs> The guy who's gotten into more meaningless Facebook arguments with she's, he's, them's, they's, so much that he's on a fucking like rotary dial from Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> you get a call late at night and it's Mark Zuckerberg saying, Bob again? <laughs> All right, do you get a teardrop tattoo every time you go to Facebook jail? <laughs> there we go. Someone's been in Facebook jail. Bob is attracted to drama. He's attracted to drama. For someone who's lived under a bridge, why do you burn him all the time? <laughs> I know we have a serious problem with gentrifying neighborhoods here in Chicago. Bob gentrified the Chicago Transit Authority. I don't know if you've <laughs> seen that on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, and Bob performed once at a bukkake party. It was the closest he was to a pleasured audience. <laughs> the pandemic has taken so much from us. It's taken so much from us in the past few years, but why didn't it just take Bob? <laughs> you, you are emphysema, you know. With a Zima. That's the healthiest drink you'll put in your fucking body. Deep reference for the older people in the crowd. Um, Bob, uh, I'll say this to you. Uh, I, I, I hated you the first time I met you. I hated you the 10th time I met you. I hated you the 50th time I met you. I hated you the 75th time I've met you. And then I just started to become reasonably tolerable of you recently. <laughs> Honestly, an old dog can't learn new tricks, but they, you know, bark the mailman away once in a while, and that's what you're doing. All right? Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. Uh, 
Uh, Kevin, I think Bob just stole your beer. Did he? Uh... Ah, he does that a lot. I, comm <laughs> I commandeered it. It's, it's mine now. You know, that was amazing. Give it up for Kevin Kellum! That was amazing. Wow, Kevin, you remind me of like a failed chain of stores. What is, uh, it's, uh, don't, it's okay. I've, it's, you peaked in the 90s, you work in radio and live in a shack. <laughs> you got it? I got it, okay. <laughs> that was a lot. You, you went really hard on Queenie there. Like, this, are you, I think we know who Kevin has a crush on. Okay. <laughs> A little, a little boy on the playground always pulls the hair of the one he likes, you know, so watch your ass. Okay, He'll pull right. any hair he can find. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. Are you ready for your next comedian? All right, you, uh, you guys have heard the phrase, if walls could talk, they'd say, they'd say, I have more ass than that bitch. Give it up for the queenie, bitch. Hello, you ugly bitches. We are all here today to talk about Bob Keen for some reason. Apparently we're supposed to roast him, but Chicago already did it. But before we talk about him, I wanna talk about our esteemed panel of roasters. First, let's talk about Ariel Julie. Ariel, you're one of my favorite people in the comedy scene, so please, do better. <laughs> Next, Kaylee Horton. Thank you so much for being here. I love her so much because no matter where we are, as long as she's in the room, I'm the pretty one. <laughs> When Kaylee was a child, she had fetal alcohol syndrome. Not a roast, just something that I believe. <laughs> Kaylee is from Pittsburgh, which you can tell by the way she's dressed right now. You're wearing a crop top. <laughs> it's called fashion, bitch. <laughs> Literally, that was the year, so thank you so much for knowing that. Thank you. Thank you so much for knowing that. <laughs> Next, I want to thank the animal that ate Adam Quaslow for showing up today. Adam really shows that perseverance is all you need in life because he had a heart attack five years ago but just refuses to die. <laughs> You can tell that Adam is Jewish because he basically just lives on schmaltz. Which for the Gentiles in the room is chicken fat. Get cultured, you dumb fucks. We also have Kevin Kellum for some reason. He is a producer on this show, again, for some reason. Kevin used to be a host on a radio station, which is really cool, in the 90s. <laughs> Kevin looks like he was a member of the Hells Angels, but he got kicked out for liking flannel too much. What are you wearing right now? <laughs> when I do it, it's cool. Kevin's brother is a police officer. The only reason I know that is because that's the only set I've ever heard him fucking do. <laughs> it's really funny that he is, his brother is a police officer because Kevin looks like a possession charge came to life. Brandon Kiefer, you're so cool. Brandon looks like a racist from the South, but he's like real gay about it. 
Have you seen the headband? I mean, really. Brandon is also proof that white people really aren't better. <laughs> Leah and Darius, I want to let you know, I know nothing about you. <laughs> and now on to the man of the hour, whoever he is. Bob, I have one question for you, why? Also, if Bob was a cosmetics brand, he would be Elf Cosmetics. Got him. <laughs> Bob looks like a warning label on what could happen to you if you miss your doctor's appointment at Planned Parenthood. <laughs> this could be you. Which, of course, is a joke because Bob looks like an abortion fought back. <laughs> Bob has weird teeth missing. Again, just something I know about him. Also, meth, question mark? But seriously, Bob, you're 40 now, which is obviously gross. But you've been in this scene for 11 years, telling jokes and taking punches, literally and recently. And now that we are all gathered here, I feel the need to say something. And I mean this from the bottom of the heart that science insists that I have. <laughs> Quit, please. For the love of God, you've done enough. You're 40 now, the dream didn't work. Thank you so much, have a wonderful day. It's like when God was creating Queenie, he turned to the angels and was like, think Holocaust, but make it fashion. <laughs> Give it up for the Queenie bitch. It's amazing. That was amazing. All right, we've got two more comics and then the main event. I say two more comics and then Bob. Um, are you ready for your next comedian? Yeah. yeah? Are you? Are you? He, he came here all the way from Michigan. Actually, after a near-death experience in Chicago, he moved to Michigan, where historically nothing bad has ever happened to black people. So, give it up for Darius Kennedy. Get your, get your ass off this, get, get out of here. Fuck out of here. What's up, people? What's up? Are you? Do you guys still have some juice in you after fucking Kevin Kellum and Queenie just juicing y'all the fuck out? <laughs> drove three hours. I drove three hours. I live in another state. I mean, physically and mentally, but <laughs> for this piece of shit, I'm here, right? <laughs> Bob and I ran multiple unsuccessful comedy shows together. <laughs> multiple, some at the same time. <laughs> Just so we could spell failure in our face. <laughs> we loved it. <laughs> so I guess we friends and shit. Give it up for Hank the Drunken Dwarf <laughs> in the flesh. Brian Kiefer looks like he's old and young and young and old at the same time. He doesn't know what he wants to be. We'll figure it out. Are you a young old guy or old young guy? Walking around, trying to be a person. I'm gonna get on stage and tell jokes. First of all, what, how old are you? Are you old enough to be in this club? Or are you old enough to own this club? Not 40. But you look 86. 
on a good day, <laughs> on a bad day, you look like you should not be alive. Um, it's not a good joke. I'm not. I drove three hours to be here, live in another state. Kevin Kellum is here. That's my homie. I love him. He's my fellow Southsider, me and Kevin. We've been doing comedy for a long time, man. I love that guy so much, but he just reminds me of a stepdad that just never got the point. <laughs> You're here temporarily, bro. <laughs> Take the suit off. <laughs> Nobody likes you that much. Put on a t-shirt and some flip-flops and water the lawn like you're supposed to. <laughs> Ariel is Bob's girlfriend. They've been together for a long time. Ariel's probably since I've known Bob in the past, what, eight to 11 years? I don't, I'm not good at math. I drove here three hours <laughs> from another state. <laughs> but I've known this guy for a long time, man. And Ariel came along and changed his life. He's a completely different person now than in what he was before they met. You know, he is. That's, that's a fact. He's uglier now <laughs> with more confidence, and that's scary. <laughs> you have a beautiful girlfriend, and she's fucking you up in the wrong ways. You are not supposed to be a confident, ugly person on the planet Earth. There's no reason for you to do that, Robert. The son of Becky and Harold. Of course, they got a kid named Bob. Becky and Harold ass. Adam Quazzo coming in. Fucking wrecking shit on stage, starting it out first. Give it up for him, man. Yeah. Motherfucker came through like the Jule man and shit. <laughs> Oy vey! <laughs> Mazel tov! <laughs> My, it's my dog right there, y'all. You know Ariel is only dating you because she wants to feel better about herself, right? Let me date this shitty ass, sweaty ass, dirty comic whose blood and sweat consistency of, is that of a dirty bar after New Year's Eve. Let me date that dude. <laughs> One day, Bob's gonna get mad enough because Ariel's gonna surpass him in comedy because she's way funnier. <laughs> you know this motherfucker's gonna be the first dude on Facebook talking about some, Jews will not replace us! <laughs> Jews will not replace us! <laughs> what about the white guys? I got a one-year-old son. I got a kid, y'all. I live in Michigan. Three hours. I moved three hours away so Bob can't meet my fucking kid. <laughs> Bob is the type of dude that'll be out in public and say some shit like, if there's grass on the field, play ball, brother. <laughs> play ball, brother. <laughs> you ain't me, my son. Bob is the type of dude that when ladies leave his house, he sniffs their chairs. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's my chair. It's my chair. He a seat sniffer. Nothing, not, my chair. nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Real lazy boy over here. Right? <laughs> Not appreciating what you had. <laughs> I've known Bob for years, man. Um, I've known him for a long time. He is, he is a part of my family. This is real talk. He's a part of my family. He's 
broken bread with my my mom and my family. He's met pretty much everybody that's important in my life man and i really appreciate him for that uh but the first time he met my family was him asserting his white privilege like a motherfucker (laughs) my mom made meatloaf and this motherfucker comes over to my house introduces himself and proceeds to eat 80 percent of the meatloaf that my mom made. (laughs) At which point my mom had no fucking choice but to nickname this piece of shit Meatloaf Bob. (laughs) You gentrified dinner, you fucking piece of shit. It was easy for him, man. (laughs) Taking food out of honest black folks' mouths. Oh yeah, I'll eat some, oh yeah. I'll have something to make no problem. Motherfucker sounds like he brushes his throat with Brillo pads. I got Bob so high one time, we were in my car, we ate a bunch of Indian food. And we're driving down Western Avenue and this piece of shit hits my bowl, coughs so hard, throws up on my dashboard. (laughs) For no reason. (laughs) Hey Darius, thanks for the dinner. This weed is fantastic. (laughs) And the fucked up thing about it was he didn't even want to clean it up immediately. (laughs) What? I like the (laughs) ambiance. It really paints up the room. I'm driving down Western, just fuck, bro. That's throw up in my car right now. We not even near a toilet. Couldn't roll down a window, you incoherent piece of shit. Fucking bastard. Second time Bob puked when I was around him. Cause that's the theme we're going with right now. The Cubs win the World Series, 2016, right? What do I do? Cause I'm a fucking trooper and this is my homie. I show up at his house, eight o'clock in the morning, six pack of tall boys, old style, we're getting drunk. Hey, Cubs win the World Series. Bob's walking around in a fucking robe (laughs) on an outside deck. He's in the middle of a sentence talking about some Bob shit. (laughs) Throws up (laughs) while he's talking. (laughs) Does not acknowledge the fact that he threw up (laughs) while he's talking. (laughs) Continues to talk (laughs) about Bob shit. Stop him! (laughs) Bro, what the fuck? I'm right here. You gonna wipe your mouth or something? (laughs) Can you step to the side and stop straddling this puddle of puke? Like you're some type of puke musician dangling on a wire? This is not a circus of puke. Be an adult, move to the side. He Him throwing up it. after drinking is the only way he loses weight. <laughs> <laughs> it brings him back to earth. He's like the Karen Carpenter of Chicago comics and shit. <laughs> she played drums. <laughs> But with all, all, all that said, man, I've known, I, I fucking love you, bro. I always have your back, whether if I'm silent or present, man. I always got, <laughs> I always have your back. I love you. You are a part of my family. Don't forget that. You'll never meet my kid. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Keep on doing you. I'll see you in two years, because that's probably how much time you got left 
ticking on a clock at this rate, <laughs> 10 years from now, probably won't happen. So um, <laughs> this has been fantastic. I got three hours to drive back to <laughs> where I live, so I'm going to make this a little short. Y'all been fantastic. <laughs> Happy 40th yeah! birthday. Make some noise. Fuck yeah, dude. I feel like the two of them could have had a sitcom together. They could call it Rick and Morty. That would be really, of course he's Meatloaf Bob. He would do anything for love, of course. I, I'm sorry, I said love, I meant spots. I meant spots. He would do anything for spots. Okay, all right, guys. Um, I fucked up a little bit earlier. I forgot to bring up one of our special guesties who's here. Uh, it's not the first time someone's totally forgotten about him. And it, and it, it will not be the last. Uh, uh, we would have invited him to be on the original dais, but we, you know, fucking forgot about him. And uh, the only reason why he's here is because he texted Bob earlier and asked to do it. So, and we're, we're He nice. needs we're, somewhere to go. <laughs> So, give it up for Bobby Buds! Yeah. What up, Bob? Yeah, I did. I texted at like 10 in the morning today. I was like, I want to do that Bob Keen roast. Because last night, I was up till like 4 in the morning doing song parodies with Bob Keen's name, which... <laughs> Have you guys ever indulged? Working Bob too keen, what a way to make. Have you ever? Bob Keen, Bob Keen, Bob Keen, Bob Keen. Oh, I just can't wait to Bob Keen. It's literally the only joy he's given to comedians in Chicago. It's. No, I guess I'm supposed to roast the dais. I don't know. It's cool that. Queenie's here after fucking getting third runner-up in the second season of Rock of Love with Brett Michaels. That's... I like that. Uh, Adam Quaslow, according to Charles Barkley, you're the only Jew in San Antonio. Uh, big old women down there. Um, that's, you broke your head. <laughs> uh, Kevin, you're, you're bald, loud, and into wrestling. Whoa, never seen that one before. Holy cow. I didn't know that species of Pokemon existed. Do I have another fucking beer? That's great. You evolved to him. You knew that species existed. <laughs> yeah, I got time, though, I feel like. I don't know. I got time to get into CrossFit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Ariel, you're the only person to ever lose money from OnlyFans. Um... <laughs> I don't know, but we're here for, uh, we're here for Bob Keen, who, happy 40th birthday. You're having a roast for, most people go to a nice steakhouse or travel abroad, but no, we're here at the intersection of Milwaukee and Western having a roast. You know, roast shows, those awesome things. <laughs> Roast shows are actually very important for comedians to hone the craft of making inside jokes in front of a, bu a bunch of strangers. That's <laughs> very important. Uh, but I also want to give a shout out. Let's give a shout out to the Lincoln Lodge, huh? Oh my God, like this place opened up right at the beginning of the pandemic and it hit the ground. I don't know, there's something about like this wallpaper. Give it up for this. This is this great wallpaper. This is hand painted on by the by the owner. And the, you, you know what else the owners did? They, they built, they put soundproof foam in between all the walls. Mm -hmm. So you could have a fun time in the bar, but still watch, like give it up for the people that did that, right? Yeah. Let's give it up for John Ledley and Kate Mitchell, huh? Yeah. Come on out here, John and Kate, come on out here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. They got fired because a little British man got jealous of how much they loved them over him. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, I thought it was only gonna be comedians because you know we have all these swoops on the fucking dais. All right. I don't, okay. Well, I'm not gonna get more. 
The cast members there have to sign a contract that says that they won't talk to John or Kate anymore. They've also signed a contract saying that they won't write a new joke since 2017. Uh, once again, these are better for the alley when we're smoking cigarettes later. I had a fun time swooping in. I thought of this last minute. Bob, I, I love you, but sometimes I don't. It, get off Facebook is all I'm saying. And because of you, I've become friends with Mac Nepper. So that is the worst thing of all. Check out Enjoy Comedy every Tuesday. Bye, thank you. Wow. I've, uh, I've never seen a man so desperate for stage time <laughs> since earlier when Bob did a show uh, in the Blue Room. Uh, so that was, that was awesome. Give it up for Bobby Bud. Yes, yes. All right, guys. We are down to our last comic before the man of the hour. Uh, he, uh, he, 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 uh, where's, oh, fuck me. Oh, okay. You guys, you remember the phrase, if walls could talk? <laughs> this comic is like, if racists could read. <laughs> Please give it up for Brandon Kiefer. <laughs> It's a big year for me. Everybody chants my name and they believe the things I believe. It's pretty cool. Uh, rules. I only did this because they told me it was going to be in the main room. <laughs> what happened, Bob? By this, I can't believe we're not in the bathroom, dude. Like, uh... All right, let's get to it. Give it up for Darius, or I call him Malcolm Xbox. <laughs> Bobby Buds, where'd he go? He's been kicked out of a Whole Foods for saying, you people. <laughs> <laughs> Queenie Bitch is here. I'm glad you could make it here from Roswell. <laughs> hey, she's still the hottest girl up here. Like, <laughs> and she's a dude. <laughs> I like your tribal tattoos. You're like... The Crack Rock. <laughs> um, all right, whatever. You got to try it. You got to try them out. We bought uh, Bob a uh, pinata for his birthday. Give it up for Adam Quaslo. <laughs> We're going to beat him with a stick later, hang him up from the ceiling, and watch the Jew gold fall out. <laughs> um, are you eating the Jew gold, Adam? Kaylee dressed like a mime, and she'd be funnier if she didn't talk. <laughs> Leah, Leah, I don't know you very well. Last time I saw you were pregnant, I assume the state figured that out for you. <laughs> All right. Where are we at? I've been drinking a bunch. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to bring up the OnlyFans. Even though it's just Bob borrowing money from Ariel and then buying a subscription once a month. Bob lost his wallet one time and I was like, where did Ariel go? <laughs> Give it over Kevin Kellum. His parents are two grandpas. <laughs> you, you know Kevin's the guy that's going to hug your girlfriend for too long, right? I subscribe to your OnlyFans. It turns out you can pay for it in food stamps. Uh, I don't know if you know that. 
I'm glad you got booked. You don't, I'm, you're more likely to get booked by Cook County, dude. <laughs> Bob Keane's the only person that Nickelback gets to make fun of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that time I got punched. <laughs> I do remember. I wasn't even there. I heard you guys threw 40 punches and no one was hurt. <laughs> Everybody went home safely that night. Give it up for Darius. What is your kid in the car right now or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's winter. You can do that. The heat's on. <laughs> Bob, Bob, you're the only comedian I wish stole jokes. <laughs> I love the Little Mermaid. Ariel, I just wish because you had legs, you didn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> or let's let her talk, but let's put her underwater. All right. Uh... <laughs> I just made that up right now, by the way. I feel pretty good. Thank you. I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> All right, I gotta go pee. Uh, I'll do one more. I'm not gonna talk about your OnlyFans. I did subscribe, because it was half off on Fridays. Uh, Only after sundown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For $5, you can see inside of Ariel, by the way. <laughs> Bob, yeah, I'm Southern, and you're not, and that's crazy. You're proof that trash blows everywhere, dude. Like, <laughs> you're such a drunk, dude. Yep. You're so dr you're you're so drunk. You think your girlfriend's hot? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. I waited till the end. I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be. You put me on this, all right? You knew what I was going to say. You knew what I was going to say that. I was going to be worse, but I behaved. I did behave. I'll let you guys know I did behave. I'll have you know I did behave tonight. Bob, you tried to fuck my girlfriend a long time ago. And she didn't do it, and that's why we're still friends. <laughs> Have a good night! Wow. We, yeah, we really did spill, yep. I mean, no one's surprised that we spilled a beer, Bob. Oh, yeah, well. They, uh... Ruined. <laughs> oh no! I've never heard someone spilling a beer makes the show better. All Jesus right, Christ! So. You'll read them the way you talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bob can't read it in the first place. Uh, well, I mean, I was gonna say uh, originally I said you know Brandon's like if racists couldn't read, but but apparently they they really can't because the the only thing I said was the only thing please just don't mention the OnlyFans and as you notice that was what were you pointing at oh as you pointing at yeah that was the only thing he mentioned <laughs> like I my tits made me thirteen thousand dollars okay I mean. Kiefer's not even in the room, but what of his tits ever made him besides diabetic, okay? <laughs> Fuck that guy. Brandon Kiefer does not punch down, he swings low.
<laughs> okay. All right, guys. We are at our final, final performer of the night. The man of the hour, the legend, the myth, Bob Keen. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, like we, I, I've been talking to the to the roasters for quite a few months now. You know, we've been putting this together, and everybody, I have to say, really had a great time writing these jokes about you because you you never know when inspiration is going to hit you from behind. Um, uh, Bob's DJ slider bitch. <laughs> DJ slider bitch. Okay. Uh, Bob's father, we had dinner with uh, Bob's parents last night, and his dad was describing the day that Bob was born. And the first time they looked at him, and they, they called it beautiful baby syndrome. They were so enamored. Today, the DSM-5 calls it Downs. <laughs> Yeah, Bob and I, we really do talk a lot of shit about each other on stage, and sometimes people give me shit for Bob being, like, half my act. But, like, it would be weird when the feature shits on the headliner, and then the headliner just doesn't respond. Like, that would be weird, right? So that would be crazy. When uh, the feature hits on the breadwinner. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it, Kiefer. I had some really good comebacks against you, and... Oh no, fuck you. <laughs> You can watch the video, okay? It'll be on YouTube in a month. Fuck you. <laughs> you thuck. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bob Keen. Bob Keen is such an alcoholic. He thinks all paper money is drink tickets. <laughs> like, he was, he was so excited when he got his current job two years ago. He's like, they're going to pay me 16 drink tickets an hour. Like, <laughs> it's the most I've ever made. <laughs> She I called it his current job. <laughs> he's, he's just excited to have like a thousand drink tickets in his bank account for once. He's so, Bob is so lazy. He's too lazy to turn on a fucking Roomba, okay? He's, Bob, Ke oh, oh, whoa, we're tired, okay? We're just, we're tired. Um, I, I like to say that pigeons are just doves that have been through the Bob Keen machine. Um, <laughs> But the most common question I get about what is it like dating Bob, everybody asks me, does Bob say the N-word in bed? <laughs> does Bob say the N-word in bed? It's the only way he can come. <laughs> we don't make love, we make hate speech. <laughs> all right. But in all honesty, uh, sweetheart, my darling, you are the love of my life. Thank you, Sugar Plum. You're welcome. <laughs> you are... <laughs> Fuck Bob Keen! Fuck Bob Keen! Well, so here's she the fucks Bob Keen! The, the, the first time I ever met him at an open mic at the Kenzie Inn, everybody was shouting, Fuck Bob Keen, and I'm really good at following directions. I'm really good. <laughs> And I did, and it turned out to be the healthiest relationship I've ever been in, by far, by far, yeah. Because I like being, I know, it's crazy, but I like being on top, we all know. So, so baby, I, I put all of this together for you with a tiny bit of help from Chris, and, and mostly Chris, actually. Um, <laughs> I mean, fuck you, Kevin and Matt, but um, I love you so much. Are you ready? Are you, are you ready sure. to do this? Are you guys ready? <laughs> Bob Keen! You know, I told them the song to play and they didn't. Um, <laughs> hi, everybody. I don't know who I'm happier showed up. Those of you who know me, or those of you who visibly don't, but you still paid for a ticket. <laughs> Either way, I have to pee in four minutes, so let's get it going. Uh, give it up for Ariel. <laughs> Putting this all together. It's not often you find somebody who loves you enough to get all your friends together to humiliate you in public. Uh, <laughs> Surprised you didn't get our cat to call my mom a cunt or something. <laughs> 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 
Every time I go to y'all's church, all I hear is meow. <laughs> there have been a lot of jokes tonight about her being Jewish. And like, yeah, it's not a good thing to be, but... <laughs> But there's so much more to her than just being a Jew. Uh, she's a big fan of Harry Potter, for, ex for example. She loves Harry Potter. One time she actually put on the sorting hat and it sent her to Auschwitz. It's like slithering with an umlaut. Uh, <laughs> really happy for all the comics that showed up for this and actually tried. That's pussies. Uh, I love that Kevin, Kevin Kellum. Look at that guy. Kevin Kellum reminds me that when I'm at my lowest, I should count my blessings. A hundred thousand to be exact, because that's how many hairs are in a human head. <laughs> Ke we all did when we look at your scalp. I didn't expect more than Bob. <laughs> Kevin's bald, but at least he's a loud problem drunk, too. <laughs> you sad howler monkey on crank. <laughs> Speaking of crank, we all have a betting pool as to when Queenie's going to cut hers off. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Jack the Pumpkin Queen. <laughs> Your le How does it feel to have legs too skinny to pull off a tuck back? <laughs> I'd accuse you of being bulimic if I thought you had a gag reflex. <laughs> Queenie... <laughs> Give it a minute. Queenie's so gay, she can guess the flavor of a lollipop just by fucking its dad. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think there's a lead into the next one. <laughs> no, there wasn't. Leah's here. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Leah. Thank you for coming here. We've met five times now, and three of them were in L.A. Uh, I don't remember any of them. I don't remember this one. <laughs> I met Leah 11 years ago in Los Angeles, and that place has chewed her up worse than her kids did to her nipples. <laughs> Leah's been on Comedy Central. You understand that? Big deal shit. She's been on Comedy Central. It's gotta suck that the network that gave Carlos Mencia a show got a load of you, or they're like, cool. <laughs> You went from Comedy Central to the Central Time Zone. What the fuck? <laughs> <sighs> Leah isn't the only roast here with TV credits. You may recognize Brandon Kiefer from his starring role in an episode of To Catch a Predator. <laughs> Brandon, you're the kind of dude that has a favorite 1960s Southern sheriff. <laughs> He's a big Bull Connor guy. Uh, <laughs> Brandon has a speech impediment, but the rest of us just call it a racial slur. <laughs> Kiefer, I'm not gonna lie to you, your voice is pretty fucking scratchy. It sounds like you swallowed ashes from a cross burning. <laughs> If I hear yours in my head, I know I'm a Republican. <laughs> Brandon's family still has slaves on layaway. <laughs> Every time he sees Usain Bolt running, he just starts barking. <laughs> he hates seeing a black man that can outrun his bloodhounds. Um, <laughs> Oh, man. Guys, not gonna lie, I'm trying to be woke up here. Um, <laughs> I was told recently it's not okay to comment on a woman's body and that I need to be better. 
So with that in mind, anybody else call Kaylee's tits and ass the haves of the have-nots? <laughs> <laughs> This chick twerks with her shoulders. <laughs> I think the reason her face looks surprised all the time is because I never see her fall out of a chair. <laughs> Flat ass, you see. All right. Give it up for fucking Darius Kennedy. It's my fucking guy. Darius, I hope everybody on this dais dies but you. Uh, <laughs> no, Darius has a wife. He has he has a kid now, and I knew. I'm engaged. I'm not married, bro. <laughs> well, somebody fuck him then. I don't know. <laughs> Darius, it's a good thing you've settled down because when you were single, you were nailing more threes than Steph Curry. Uh, <laughs> Do you understand? Do you understand? I went to a lot of carnivals, y'all. We hung, One night we were hanging out and I stepped in some gum and I scraped it off my shoe and Darius dated it for a month. <laughs> and then I broke up with your mom, Bob. <laughs> You were fucking chicks that the rest of us consider community service. Uh, Darius has a kid now. It's fucking wild. Darius has a kid who has blonde hair and blue eyes. I like that kid. Yeah. Darius Kennedy has a blue-eyed, blonde-haired kid. More of a Kennedy than a Darius. Let's be... <laughs> He's doing great, by the way. He's doing fantastic. Yeah, I know, because he's white. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to start selling his kid's cigarettes so at least his lungs can be black. <laughs> I hope you burn in hell. That was hilarious. <laughs> We're coming towards the end. Uh, Adam Quaslow. Give it up for Adam Quaslow. He just came here to dress up for his Tinder profile picture. Uh, I need a new one. It's fair. No, we just uh, invited Adam because we wanted him to live to see one 40th birthday. <laughs> With every pound you gain, you live the dream of every starving Jew in the Holocaust. I do it for them. You live the dream of every Jew in the Holocaust to eat enough to look like Artie Lang with a hook nose. <laughs> but I do believe in Adam. I believe in Adam. He's gonna start losing weight soon. One toe at a time. <laughs> so that's as many jokes as I felt you all were worth writing. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, man, I hope three of you die tonight. I mean, I don't care which ones. I'm just looking for numbers. Uh, if it's Adam, that counts as three. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, uh, I turned 40. I'm making new colors in the toilet. <laughs> and that really gives you perspective uh, in your life. And I look out here at comics who are almost as funny as me, and I think they showed up for me. That's the best joke you said so far. <laughs> You know, some people go as they, them. You go as what's that? <laughs> and the answer is... And the answer is a total cunt. Anyway. No. 
11 years of comedy and Bob has to book himself at the Lincoln Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out pretty affordable. Um, <laughs> guys, I am so happy. Give it up for all your roasters you've had tonight. <laughs> Give it up for all of you. I want you to know, when Roast Battle Chicago approached me to do this, they're like, hey, we want to do a birthday roast of you. And my literal first thought was, you think people are going to show up to that? <laughs> and you guys aren't happy you did, but you're here. <laughs> so I would like to thank all of our roasters. Uh, all the, Ariel Julie. Yeah. I am learning new racial slurs every time I come, every time we fuck. <laughs> And, uh, but she's also a good sport, like, smelling me. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I fart in the morning. She's like, why can't I just go to the showers? But it's, all, it's already been a good show. I can't ruin it. Wrap it up. I'm getting the We're way. all trying to get fucked up right now, Bob, on your account. <laughs> It's my party, and I'll bomb if I want to. Look, Bob, I want to. The audience just gave you the light. To be perfectly honest, this has been a magical night. Thank you all so much for being here. Give it up for Roast Battle Chicago for putting this on. Thank you guys so much. Good night. Yeah.